a script. A script to explain what a script is is basically the, the information that someone writes for for you. It's basically the blueprint, right? You know when you're building a house, you first start with a blueprint and everybody knows the blueprint. The, the, the builders would know, the architects would know, and, and everybody else involved in building the house would know. So that's how you should look at the, the script. The, way, the easiest way to, to do a script is starting off with a scripter. A scripter is someone who just writes a keywords of the storyline. Like for example, come to KCAC, we meet here, we, I, we teach you things and we go home. So that's just like additional scripts. And then you would then give it to the script writer who would write it in detail. Like we came to KCAC at five o'clock, for example, and then I came here and spoke to these guys and then I say this and this and that. So a script, a script, a script is everything in detail now. Like everything you're going to say, every shot you're, or every, every action you're gonna do, even if you have to turn left and right, you have to indicate that. So everyone involved in the film production would know what to do when this type of thing happens. Like for example, a video editor or a, a camera person would know, okay, this person is going to turn left to right. So how am I going to adjust my camera to, to make the script work as the way it's written? And the video editor would know, okay, the, the person is turning from left to right. So let me, and, and there are two type of recordings. There's a mid shot that's shot here and there's, there's another camera that shot them when they are turning this way. So the video editor will then use or play around with the two camera angles on how they can put them together. So that's the importance of having a, a script. And then, Kamba, do you wanna explain the, the, the key points? So what I've seen that most YouTubers do with scripting um, when, in terms of their videos is they basically have, um, okay, different people do it different ways, but some of them will have it written down, what they want to say in the video. Because, you know, once you start talking, sometimes you get carried away, you want to talk about other things and you forget your point. And instead of forgetting your point and going off on that trail, you have to, you have these points written down that you want to say. And also, um, a lot of them also use storytelling in their, in their videos. So say for example, it's a, story, it's a story time video and I'm telling you a story about how I went, to, I went to the mall or something. So they will have like cutaway, they have it in their scripts that okay, I'm going to have cutaway shots of me walking around in the mall, um, interacting with people and actually acting out the story that I'm telling instead of just sitting there and telling the story. So it's really important to have a script because it keeps you consistent, it keeps you guided, it keeps you on track of what you want to say so that you're able to achieve what you set to achieve at the end of the video. Awesome, I wish I could explain it like that. But, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, we'll move on now to the next slide. This is an example of the storyboard. So this is both a script and a storyboard put together. So that's like the coolest way to do it instead of like having a script and then still go to the storyboard, rather put them together. Uh, a good thing that we learned was to grab an A4 paper. Grab an A4 paper like this and you just start sketching out your, your script and, 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 and storyboard. It, like you don't need to be like Picasso when you do this. Right? <laughs> Just sketch out stock manikis and, and, and have an idea of how you want your, your script to be done. Um, a storyboard is, like it explains here, is a, it's a visual representation of a script. So you, the script would be written and the storyboard is how you're going to do the shots. So a storyboarding also goes into a lot of detail. Uh, I guess we should also have a workshop for that. But a nice thing to add to your storyboard is Obviously the sketches, like how, how you envision the idea to, to come about. And a, a thing that we learned was to include the, the action, what the script is saying, and 
over here you can you can always use this space to 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 indicate how the camera movements are going to are, are going to work like for example this guy would be coming from the side i would then have either the camera standing right or i would have the camera moving back as the car is coming as well so i would then have an arrow pointing down to show that the camera is supposed to move back as it's moving like that or if i'm if the car is moving this side, I will then add an arrow like that, a red arrow, for example, just as a keyword. You can always keyword it as in the way that you want, but this arrow would then indicate the camera has to move with the car as it's moving. So just an easy way to, 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 to do it. Over here, these are just screenshots of this, what I sketched out. Right. So these are ske a, a, a sketch from a previous uh, training that we gave. We sketched it out. I, I, I was telling, I was teaching them about how to do the storyboarding. So what we do is, is put it into practice where we sketch it out. It's first the establishment shot and then the car would be coming and then it would turn and, and have people hanging out there as well as, as it reaches its uh, location. Over here, the guy then comes out of the car, shows the guy's foot. Um, he then walks to a view. He drinks his water. And then he throws it away, right? And the guys that he finds there look at what he's doing, and then they would get angry. And as he's walking to his car, one of the guys grab him. So every type of shot is there. And then the video would then rewind and have the same scenario of him approaching the place, drinking the water, throwing the bottle away, and then double guessing, and picks up the bottle, and walks off with the bottle. So that is the storyboard that we sketched out. Now, this is now the video. So because of a, a, a storyboard, we got to shoot, shoot it in a few hours, as opposed to going there and freestyling things and spending three days recording it. So that, that's the beauty about scripting something and, and storyboarding. So yeah, um, I hope you understand like, the importance of having a script and a storyboard, because you can use it for so many things. Um, I want to see where we are now. All right. So before we move into filing systems, is there a question? All right, just start. So I'm not trying to produce any big production. So if I'm just trying to do like a, 
a vlog for myself and my own, like, you know, whatever. How do you s have a script but s not break away from it to look at it and still be authentic and kind of connect, I guess, yeah. with... Yeah, so it's, it's almost like... But also, like, I don't want to not not have it because I, I, I chase rabbits, so I'll probably go off... So how do you do both without it looking like you're looking at a script and you're following something, but still stay authentic and connect? I don't know. Okay, Come so it's, it's something that I also experience. So what I usually do is I would write keywords and then I would freestyle from the keywords. Like for example, water, um, shoes, uh, uh, car. So I would have those keywords there and then I would be like, Hi guys, today uh, I'm, I was sitting at home, then I grabbed myself a bottle of water, I drank it, and then I went to go get my shoes, I put them on, and then I went to my car and drove off. So that's how, how I would use it to, to remember my script. So, especially with now the vlogging, you don't really have to go too much into detail into yeah. scripting. It's not like a, like a corporate production. So try that technique, because it, it really helps me a lot. Okay. And then you just like freestyle, freestyle all the way. <laughs> also, another thing that people also do is if you have points, so you have five things, that maybe it's a video you want, where you want to teach, five things, five ways to boost your personal confidence or whatever. So you mention each one, and then when you're editing, then you remove the little parts where you were looking at the, at the paper or yeah. trying to remember oh, things. Okay. So then you can just record a long video, and then you just edit it and make sure that we don't see the little parts where you... You know, what you were thinking, trying to do that. Awesome. Is there another question? Ms. Ovi? Um, I was thinking um, or wondering why there's no why question. Why are you doing it? There's no what? You only have when, what is happening, oh. how. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, you can, it's, 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 not, it's not like, you, you, it's not a rule. You can, you can add what you want and you can remove what you want. We, we just didn't edit because we, we, didn't, we didn't edit, yeah. But, but you, can, you, can, you, can, you can always edit and then have your reason why you are doing something. Like um, a why would usually be used if you are trying to get an audience to understand something or you're trying to communicate a message. But uh, like usually it's like a vlogging video would be like advertising something or talking about something like generic stuff unless it's like you are for a cause uh, where you only do vloggings for this type of course that's when you can add the why but the why can be incorporated in anything actually um, even if you're doing like the generic stuff why are you doing the video for today why why did you decide to come do it here and not in your studio so the why is basically just a, a foundation part to, to add to other whys, <laughs> if you get what I mean. But yeah. All right. Filing systems. Um, this is the filing system that we work with. Uh, just for you to get an idea on how to, to, to put your folders. So we have one, two, three, four folders. The first folder is usually where the working file is, like where the program is, where you're editing your work and stuff like that. Number two, the second folder would be links, where you add now your, your audio. So you would have this main folder, and then you would have now a folder for your audios that you recorded. Like this type of audio would be in this, in this file. We have the, the file for the pictures, like in case you, you've taken any pictures. We have the files for cutaways, and we have the files for B-rolls. We'll explain what cutaways and B-rolls are in a few minutes. Um, and we have now, in case you have animations, you can have your file for animations as well. And then the third folder would be the copy. Like, if you did a script or there's any folder that's, or document that's, that's, that's copy related, you would then have it in this folder. And if you have logos to add to your videos, like you are sponsored by someone or you're collaborating with someone, you would then have your logos there. Instead of having like all of the things in one file, which makes it unorganized, number one, and difficult for you to find specific things. 
So rather have them organized in this way and, and know where everything is. But uh, it's not, again, it's not a rule. This is just like our system, but you can always create it in the way that you want. Like if you see that there's something that you, that you do, but it's not in any of these folders, you can always edit or you can always remove it like animations. I'm sure not everyone would be doing animations in their things, so you can also always do without it. So it's, it's up to you. You can customize it in the way you want, but this is like a standard system that, uh, that, that people create.